my name is Alison Schofield and I'm a tissue viability nurse. Today I want to explain and demonstrate something that's really important in looking after your lower legs and feet and that is washing and applying emollient. So for the practical demonstration so I've set up in my own house everything that you would need we've got a bowl of water lined with a, a bin bag a liner just to prevent any bugs or anything getting into of any of your wounds if you've got any cracks in your skin things like that so just plain water we don't want it too hot because you don't want to be scalded and we don't want it too cold so kind of tepid is um, is okay um, also what we have is I'm going to wear a pair of gloves um, if you don't have them then that's fine um, but I'm going to just apply these and then I'm going to remove the dressing that I have on my leg so if you have a leg wound and um, you need to remove the dressing first before washing of the leg okay so I have a dressing here and what I'm going to do is and this is a bit of a tip if you just pull the dressings from the corners from the edges and then you can see it starts to lift because if we rip it off it could damage the tissue underneath and strip the skin so we're going to just pull all these corners and we can see it's now nicely and easily starting to come away so that dressing I'm going to put into my bag so any bag that you have plastic bag and then you can dispose of that into the rubbish afterwards okay so you can see I've got the wound here uh, um, to my leg and it's got in the center what we call a bit of slough a bit of yellow which can be quite normal on a chronic wound like a leg ulcer it might be that you don't have a wound but you have dry skin um, you've got um, swelling in your legs varicose veins things like that so um, it's really important in all cases to look after the uh, skin on our, on our lower limbs okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my foot into the bowl of water. I'm going to adjust it slightly. And a bowl's often better than a bucket because a bucket can be a bit too deep and harder to get your leg in. Okay. If you're struggling to carry the water to where you are, get a friend or a, a relative or carer, somebody who is with you at this time or peak carers that are coming in um, to, to assist with this if you, if you are struggling to bend down and things like that. Yes, you can wash your leg in a shower if you have access to that as well. Okay, so I'm going to place my foot in there. And if you are the, the person having your leg washed, are you going to just check the temperature of the water? That's just perfect. Okay, so we need to use something um, like a soap substitute because some of the soaps that we use are a bit harsh on the skin and can make it dry out more. So for today, I'm going to use an emollient cream that I have and when we call that a soap substitute okay so we've got one here which is a, a pump dispenser type one so I'm just going to pump some of that out and then we're going to use that um, to go into the water okay so I'm going to wash around the skin of my leg like so okay making it nice feels lovely okay okay and making sure you get right in between the toes because toes can become dry, cracked and soggy sometimes and can be prone to fungal infections. So we need to go right underneath there, round the heel. Okay, so for the wound itself, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a piece of gauze like this. And I'm going to wash the wound starting from the centre outwards. So we're removing all the debris and bacteria we're sweeping it away like so okay and like so okay so um, some of that debris and slough there we can see has now been removed and that's fine to get the wound wet and tap water is absolutely fine to use if you've been advised or told to use um, saline sterile water then your nurses would have um, provided that for you but tap water is absolutely fine Okay, so I'm going to give my leg a bit of a, a rinse down and use another piece of gauze there. So if you've got any dry areas, any, um, you know, build up of dry skin, you know, give them a, a bit of extra attention. Just you can take your time with it and kind of uh, circular motions and it might help to uh, remove some of that. 
Okay. Right. I'm quite happy with that, so I'm going to take my foot from there. I've put a plastic down on the floor so I'm not wetting uh, my carpet. So whatever you have, or you might have a, a, a clean towel to pop down. Okay, I'm going to use this to place my foot on like a towel. And then I'm going to dry my leg using this towel from the dressing pack. But if you, it's important that you use clean uh, towels um, because we don't want any bacteria getting around into the wound. So I'm just going to dry that. I'm not going to rub it too harshly because if your skin's thin, sensitive, anything like that, so we don't want to uh, make it worse. So I'm going to do a nice pat dry. Also paying attention to drying the foot, so around the heel, and you can check um, for any sore areas on the heel or the bottom of the foot um, at this time. Uh, particular attention for people who are diabetic or have no sensation or feeling to the lower part of their legs and feet. Dry in between the toes um, because we don't want it to stay soggy and we don't want the skin to break. There we go. Okay, so that's nice and dry. So what I want to do now is to put some um, more emollient cream on. So um, I'm going to put that on top. So I'm going to use the, the cream that I had. Um, there are lots of different types of emollient creams um, which you can get um, over the counter or you can um, get them prescribed by um, your nurses or, or GPs. Okay, so we're going to put the cream on. Now we're going to do a, a, a put it all over the area. We're going to avoid the wound centre. Um, we want to check the, the wound edge to make sure that's okay. Um, and we're, then we're going to do a final sweeping down motion and this is so we get the hair follicles going down and we don't get any infections and things in, in the hair roots. Okay, so we're going to get that all nicely over and the foot. Don't forget the heel, that's the one that always seems to dry out more. Okay, so that's nicely covered and then downward sweeping motion. It's quite nice to have a a little massaging effect as well while you, you're doing that or if you're doing this for somebody else it feels quite nice and it's good for the lymphatic system too. Right, okay, so we've got our cream on there and I'm going to remove my gloves at this point. Okay, so at this point you can wash your hands or use your hand gel um, just to give them a little um, um, cleanse there at this point. Okay. So I'm going to apply a fresh dressing, right, okay, so I'm going to use my sterile fresh gloves at this point. Make sure you dry your hands well, so it's hard to get the gloves back on. Like so. So the dressing is just got this one's particular one's got backing on it, so I'm just going to take the backing the backing off there. Okay. Not touching the dressing itself, and I'm just going to place that back over the wound. You might have different types of dressings, but you will be prescribed those, of course. Okay. So with the dressing on and in place, uh, we're going to then apply our hosiery kit um, or hosiery or ready wrap or bandage system um, whichever you have and you'll have been informed how to do that so that will then go over the dressing and we'll keep that nicely in place until the next dressing change okay so leg washing really really important looking after your skin all of your skin um, but paying particular attention to the, the lower limb where we have any issues. Okay.